preserve the Spanish way of life over the British. Um, I've been thinking about this a lot actually because in the UK it's become a corporate world in so many ridiculous ways. Um, legislation in everything to stop small businesses opening up. Um, you've got the fact that the supermarkets have dismantled the artisans. They've dismantled careers and created jobs. Um, it's a bit like the US with Walmart where they basically destroyed entire places by sucking the life out of it. Because it does suck the life out of it. People want to be a baker. They don't want to work on the cash register at the supermarket. They don't want to work in a production line making cakes or something. They want to be a baker. Um, and that, that's what's basically happened in the UK. There is no thought about quality of life. Quality of life is irrelevant. Nobody can... Everybody complain about everything's too expensive, the mortgage, etc. But I've never heard anybody actually say, my quality of life's crap here, which is the reality of it. Because even if you're um, unemployed and taking everything on benefits, your quality of life isn't great. You, you, you exist. You don't have... Um, the ability to improve yourself or change because the whole society is based on stagnation um, there's no investment in training so if you were stuck unemployed and wanted to become a plumber or maybe you want to do a uh, become a uh, do physics or become a mathematician there's nothing there to support you um, if anything they're likely to cut your benefits off for seeing it that you're uh, actually trying to work or some other, some other nonsense. Um, in the same way, people like myself are artificially subsidising everybody else. Because at the end of the day, I pay 40% tax plus everything else. The 40% being straight off the top off my salary. Um, plus then you've got your pension national insurance, compulsory pension, and we all know that they fritter that away like no tomorrow, the government. Um, then I pay tax on my fuel, I pay tax on my clothing, I pay tax on my residency in the UK, you know, on the property, etc. So when people say, oh, I'm taxed at 40%, the reality is it's about 80%. Because everything's taxed to death. Fuel's taxed at least 60%. Beer is taxed it, I don't even know, because you can buy a bottle of wine in Spain for 50 cents to a euro and it'll be a fiver in the UK. I don't even know how they get to five pounds. Um, so it's a rip off Britain, but where's the benefits? There isn't any. In Spain, we the, we live in La Mata, which is a, um, it's a coastal place, which is, it's, it's like an artificial village, but it was an original village in the first place, um, from what I've seen and read. Um, the advantage with that is it's, it's still a community-based place, because most of the places aren't rented most of the year, so the, prop the population probably goes from about one to 200 to 10,000. Um, depending what time of year it is you know because it's full of holiday flats so you have an artisan butcher there you have a, a artisan baker you have um, traditional greengrocers and small corner shops which are family run and have been run by generations uh, you have the old fishing boats on the coast you have life you have a traditional village environment even if it is surrounded by holiday flats um, and you find it doesn't matter where you go you go into other shops uh, in Torrevea for example they still retain a lot of the small store store owners um, France is the same France 
don't like the big corporations taking things over. There was, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, it was mentioned by uh, somebody actually watches these YouTube videos because the guy uh, was a French farmer and McDonald's owned a store but McDonald's didn't actually use any of the produce in the area. So he dismantled the McDonald's store brick by brick. He didn't smash it up, he dismantled it because he didn't want it there. Um, and I'd have to agree with him. I have the same thing with supermarkets. The supermarkets are a parasite because the, the, the reality is they push down the price of everything to the farmers and try and get as much profit for themselves out of it um, and then tell us they're doing a great job. They're not. They, they're sucking the life out of farming. They're sucking the life out of um, people because we have, have no bakers, we have no uh, butchers, we have no uh, no freedom of small business. Because I think it's important those businesses exist and survive. And I know it's been a bit of a um, revival in recent years with the cookery shows and what have you, but it's nowhere near where it should be. Um, it's sad. It really is sad. And I, I have to say, for those reasons, I prefer Spain um, from that point of view. Because, from a Philippines perspective, everything's owned by corporations. Um, even down to, it doesn't matter what you're selling, they've already got a cut in it anyway. They own all the manufacturing. So, even if you're selling a packet of crisps, um, San Miguel, for example, may have a cut of it. Animal Feed, the big boys, and San Miguel have got a cut of it. It doesn't matter what it is, the corporations own it. Um, and you can see the poverty levels in the Philippines, and some of that can actually be down to the inability to generate some uh, new business because of the not only the power that comes with these businesses controlling everything, but also the power comes with the fact that they uh, can manipulate government. Um, so yeah, I can see where the UK is heading by looking at the Philippines. Uh, the disappointing thing that it, it doesn't need to be that way, but you try and get people to change their view on things. Um, it's like this video, I'm more likely to get backlash off it than actually people praise it purely because people don't want to admit there is serious problems. Uh, I don't mind paying extra for my food. I don't mind extra paying for anything actually, if the quality is there and that actually generates work. Because supermarkets don't. They just become warehouses where people with name badges. It, it doesn't become a life. It doesn't become a career. It just becomes a job. I don't know anybody that loves working at a supermarket, but I know people that would love to be a baker, and I know people that have a passion for bakery. I can't see the same about working at a checkout. So that's why I quite happily like the Spanish way of life. I like the Spanish way of retaining its small stores and its small businesses. And I'm not sure how political it is, whether they have a lot of clout because in France they do, there's small businesses and that they, there is quite a lot of strong socialism there. Um, and I have to agree with them in many ways because as things get bigger, you know, corporations will swallow up pretty much everything over time and it, I think it should stop because corporations run on money, not people. They only care about money. Um, they sell you on other stuff. That's why they have these values policies. Look at our values. Um, but the reality is they don't They don't believe in their own values. They have a value statement because it's part of corporate training. It doesn't mean they believe in it. It just means that that's what they've been told they've got to produce. So they do. And the same goes for most things. Well, we've got a company policy for that. The recent one yesterday... Um, was relating to Jamie Oliver. 
somebody's threatening to sue Jamie Oliver because a child that was being bullied at school took a camera into school. School's response is, we have an anti-bullying policy. Okay, well that, that, that means there's no bullying in this school because why bullying bugs me is one of my one of my brothers was bullied at school and it was the same thing um, Crystal Whitehead school in Worcester um, basically said that we don't have bullying in the school see because if you don't have bullying or won't admit there's bullying then you don't have to deal with it and like this one this is, uh, Jamie Oliver has been threatened to be sued by the parents of the um, this school uh, the bu school bullies parents uh, the reality is the school says but we have a policy we have a policy that that's corporations for you we have a lack of responsibility that's what we have and that's what corporations bring they remove responsibility you know yourself doing it you try and cancel contracts that you've done with uh, telephone companies or whatever how hard is it because they generate paperwork to stop you doing it they make it as hard as possible because they analyze every bit of process to put a stumbling block in the way. That's corporations. Bad business, horrible businesses. And yes, I do work for a corporation, um, but I try to inject a bit of being a person in there um, because I'm not, I'm not a corporate robot, I'm a person. Um, and I like people to be treated as people, which is why I try and inject the, although a company policy says this, we're a bit, we're a bit more um, human than that. We actually see people as people, not payroll numbers. Well, some of us do. Alright, thanks for watching.